Okay, look at the pictures as you listen to a story. The story is called Sunflower Seeds. It is about two children who each plant a sunflower seed, but they have different results. After listening to the story, we're gonna answer some questions. Okay, sunflower seeds. Let me shut the door real quick because it's a little bit loud. Oh, Thumbs up, we're all listening. I don't see everyone's thumbs up, we're listening to the story. All right, here we go. Sunflower seeds. Perfect Polly wanted a plant for her room. Polly's dad gave her a packet of sunflower seeds and read aloud the instructions. Polly found a pretty pot and filled it with dirt. She dropped a seed in the dirt covered it with more dirt, and sprinkled it with water. Polly set the pot in a sunny spot near her window. Each day, she checked on her plant and watered it. Within a few days, Polly spotted a sprout. Perfect, she said. My plant will be so pretty. Soon the sprout became a plant with leaves and a flower bud. And one day that bud bloomed. So that was her then. Now this is forgetful Fred. He also planted a sunflower seed. He wanted to surprise his mom for her birthday. He found an old soup can and filled it halfway with dirt. Then he put a seed on top and covered it with more dirt. He poured water all over it until there was a messy puddle. Fred left the pot on his dresser away from the window. I guess I'll go play now, Fred said. Fred always forgot to open the curtains, so his room never got much sunlight. Fred also forgot to water the seed. The seed did sprout, but it then turned brown and dried up. Fred forgot about the plant. The end, he forgot about his mom's birthday. Forgetful Fred does it again. Now let's turn so you see this page here. pictures to help the story. The first one is by showing that the characters are different. The second one by showing that the characters could each grow a plant. Or the last one by showing that the characters use different things to grow plants. How did the author use the pictures to help the story? Was it to show that the characters are different? The characters could each grow a plant or by showing the characters use different things to grow plants. Good one. 
one. Okay, Caro. What did Polly's plant have to help it grow that Fred's plant did not? A seed, dirt, or sunlight? So what did Polly's plant have to help it grow that Fred's plant, plant did not? Seed, dirt, or sun? Good. Okay, go ahead and flip your paper. So if you see this, we're gonna read another story. So we're gonna look at the picture as we listen to the, a text. The text is called, How to Make Ants on a Log. It is about how to make a tasty snack. So after listening, we'll answer some questions. How to make ants on a log. If you saw a line of ants walking on a log, would you want to eat them? No. Probably not. What if the ants were raisins and the log was a piece of celery? That sounds a little better, doesn't it? You can follow a recipe for making this yummy snack. It's called ants on a log. A log is like a stick. It also comes from a tree, but it's bigger. To make ants on a log, you will need a few pieces of celery, some raisins, and peanut butter. You will also need a plastic knife and a plate. Once you gather all of these things, you are ready to follow the steps to make ants on a log. Step one, ask an adult to cut the celery into pieces about as long as your finger. These will be the logs. Step two, use a plastic knife to spread some peanut butter on each celery stick. Spread the peanut butter from end to end. Step three, place the celery sticks on a plate. Put some raisins one at a time on top of the peanut butter. Leave a little space between each raisin. Each log or piece of celery should have at least five ants or raisins on it. Step four, eat up your ants on a log. Be sure to share them with your friends. Okay, now go ahead and turn one page so you can see this too. Yay. Yeah, think about the steps on this one. Okay, which item is needed for the second step? Is it a knife, a raisin, or a plate? The second step. So think about more towards the beginning of the steps. First, second, third, fourth. There were four steps. The second step. Which one did you need? A knife, a raisin, or a plate? What do you think? And circle them when you think. The second step was towards the beginning, so think about how you make ants on a log. Which one do you think is the second in the second step? A knife, a raisin, or a plate? Are we good? Celery compared to in the text? Was it compared to an ant, a log, or a knife? What was the celery? Was it an ant, a log, or a knife? What was the celery? He gave the celery in the recipe. Was it an ant, a log, or a knife? The celery. Okay, move to the flower row. What is the last step in making ants on a log? Was it eating the snack, spreading peanut butter, or putting raisins on top? The last step. Eating the snack, 
spreading peanut butter or putting raisins on top? What was the very last step? about when we said the last step, what we needed to do. We said we were doing something, we were going to share it. So think about that. Were we eating it, spreading peanut butter on it, or putting raisins on it? No, no. Think that, because we're, we're not on that one, we're on this one. Okay. to the car row. Choose the word home. 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 Okay. Move to the chair row. Choose the word keep. 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 Okay. Move to the last row, the fish row. Choose the word time. Go to the hand row. Choose the word tape. Tape. Move to the horse row. Choose the word like. And the horse row, choose the word like.
Went to the flower, or excuse me, airplane. Airplane. Choose the word code. Code. Okay, move to the sack row. Choose the word tube. Tube. Page. Page. 